another video. This video is going to be super exciting because we are currently in the car taking a road trip to Washington DC and I'm so excited because I've actually never been to DC and for the longest time I've wanted to visit and you know I live in New York it's only a four hour drive um, which is you know relatively close and I just haven't had the opportunity so we're currently in spring break and it is my boyfriend's birthday today so we are heading to um, DC we're gonna visit some of the museums the monuments of course there is a whole bunch of things we want to do most importantly we're going to catch a baseball game because someone loves baseball so um, we got tickets to a game tonight which I'm not gonna say what the team name is what's the team name? national nationals what, uh, Washington, Washington Nationals yeah. versus um, Arizona Diamondbacks okay Washington Nationals versus Arizona Diamondbacks so we're gonna see that game tonight and um, that's gonna be super fun and you're seeing a friend from college that you haven't seen since college like years ago so that's exciting um, we have a whole list of things to do um, because we have some a friend that used to live there so this is basically the list let me pull it up something like that a whole list of things to do so we know that there is a lot of things to do but we are only going to be there for about um, a day we're gonna head two days yeah basically two days so we're gonna head back tomorrow night so we're gonna try and do as much as we can if we can't then you know we'll definitely have to do another um, trip another time but this is basically our list that we have on just like on notes basically we want to see um, the big um, monuments such as the Capitol, the Jefferson Building, Lincoln Memorial, the White House and we want to also visit Georgetown we heard that it's an amazing little town so we want to do all that within two days so we'll see how we go the weather's looking good so good so far so good um, and yeah and I got my coffee I drove out of Manhattan and I did pretty well would you say I did pretty well so I have my license from Australia and we our steering wheels on the other side and the street is on the other side so like the lanes we drive in is like opposite lanes and the steering wheel is the opposite side. So I did pretty well. So now we've switched because we just stopped over just a moment ago and had a little break and we're back on the road. And I think we're passing through Philadelphia right now. I have no idea, but we are arriving. It's 9.40 now. We are arriving at 12, so. We made it to DC and we just checked in. Luckily our room was ready. We were meant to make it by one. Actually, we were meant to make it by 12, but we made it by one, which is fine. We stopped like three times. Um, so that's still good. But yeah, we checked into our room and I'll just give you a quick room tour. We're staying at, I believe it's called the Cambria. And the reason we chose this is because it's close to the stadium but we might Uber to um, where we wanna go and explore right now. But before we get changed and start of the day, I just wanna show you the room. So just pretty basic. Um, you have king size bed and then it's got like this whole like map layout. It looks like Google Maps or something of Washington. You have a little, little kitchen there. You've got your coffee, um, fridge and closet here. And a full-size mirror, which is great. And then like a little lounge area. And this is the view, which isn't much of a view. The stadium is right there. And you can actually see the capital right there. There it is, the capital, the capital building. It looks like it's super close to walk to, but 
This is the bathroom. It looks like it's super close to walk to, but that's just probably the New Yorker in me. And there's probably like a bunch of highways that you need to walk through. So we're probably going, going to take an Uber. We put our car in valet, so probably just Uber. Um, but yeah, let's go get some lunch because we're starving. Oyster bar, and they've got a whole bunch of food. So we're probably just going to do some seafood. This is an Aperol Spritz, and you have a uh, DC Brow, so it's like uh, their own craft beer. All right, so it's exclusive. The Marina. Well, it's called the Wharf. This is stunning. It looks like a castle. It might actually be a castle. We thought we came to the Botanical Garden, but it seems like we came to the Art Gallery. This is the entrance. It's so pretty. We had a really great lunch and now we're just kind of coming to the National, I believe it's called the National Mall and we're going to explore the monuments but we just stumbled across this castle here which actually I think it's the gallery, right? That's what it seems like. They have different galleries here. Yeah, so most of the museums here are free entry However, you need a timed entry, which means you need to book in a time and because this trip was so last minute, we didn't book in any times. Um, so we're just going to play it by ear, kind of see where we um, end up, but it seems like we can um, enter in here. Just, I mean, like, look at this. Are you kidding? It's so beautiful. And another thing is... DC, like especially this city square area, is extremely clean and you know we're just like taking in the cleanliness and the fresh air because that's something that we're not used to. Yeah, <laughs> it does not smell like uh, garbage and pee. No. How did you like lunch? It was really good. I was, love seafood. Yeah, we had like an amazing um, salad, what was it? It was like a crab. Crab, crab dip. dip crab dip and it was so good yeah so I'm really into seafood and I plan to eat a lot of it this that's so pretty okay. Yeah, okay we came to the museum and I think we found the National Mall through this through the back entrance we found the National Mall and this is incredible this is the Washington Monument right yep and then the capital is right there. It looks tiny right now. But this is the building we came out of. Castle looking building. Just a reminder that we're in the US and we couldn't resist the food trucks. We've got some cheese fries. So we've got all food trucks lined up over there. It got a little chilly. Um, <laughs> our probably our second last monument for today. And it's the Capitol building, which is insane. Insane. Um, you can get pretty close up to the capital. We're still quite far. There's this whole little bit that we need to go around right now. Then we're going to head back to the hotel to get ready for uh, the baseball game tonight. But you can see the capital building is right behind me. Right there. And the Supreme Court is there. that way so last monument of the day and it is incredible the architecture is insane there is barriers up at the moment so which we're going to try and get um, get around as much as we can to the building it's incredible so, what has been 
the most amazing monument you'll see. Because I feel like when you travel and you see monuments in real life, there's nothing like it. Like even like seeing the Colosseum in real life, it's just unreal. Uh, just from like pictures to real life. I'm gonna say the Capitol. I still haven't seen the Jefferson Memorial yet, so I'll just yeah. wait. But for now, it's the Capitol. We're gonna do that tomorrow. Yeah, even seeing the White House, like you couldn't get really close to the White House. It was really far, um, and we overheard people saying that they've built additional um, gating to keep people further away. So that was interesting. But yeah, I think the Capitol for me as well. It's just incredible. Just like the architecture, the shape of it. We are back in the room and we are about to head over to the stadium for the baseball game and this is what I'm wearing, just super casual jeans, this knit, I traveled with my Dior saddle bag and I have this strap on it, um, it was convenient today, I just kind of wore it crossbody and I'm wearing my dunks and I'm taking my coat and it's what I'm wearing and I'm ready for the game. And, <laughs> and literally today have been living off coffee. This is like the third cup of coffee. Um, quickly came back and utilized this little area. And now we're caffeinated and ready to enjoy our night. It has been a very long day today, but can't complain. It's birthday behavior, birthday celebrations, baseball, travel, DC. sat down um, for some breakfast and I just ordered some coffee right here um, they don't have latte I had to order an Americano with not milk creamer so, right here. there's my creamer that's how you know you know that you're not in Manhattan anymore and I don't know I guess Manhattan is very similar to Melbourne so they adjusted pretty well I would say because everything is like so similar so when I travel to other states it's like I have to get used to things like that like black coffee and creamer that's just like one example um, but today's gonna be a super fun day. I'm wearing this new t-shirt actually purchased from the Kubels. Um, first time actually purchasing something from that brand. So it's kind of edgy, it's different style for me, but um, I'm comfortable today. And we got our car waiting for us out front and we're just gonna get started with the day as soon as my breakfast comes. And we are going to Lincoln Memorial today. We want to do Georgetown for lunch. So everyone keeps telling us that it's very our vibe for lunch and shopping. So that's what we're doing today. right at the top. Yeah. Right there. We need to find New York. Can you see New York? 
see Minnesota, Oregon, Maryland, Connecticut, New Jersey. Oh, New York is there. It's right on the corner at the bottom. On the corner. No, on the right oh, yeah. on the corner. This is how I imagine all the buildings in Athens to look. You know? Yeah. But yeah, let's head up. From one side, you can see that. And then the other side. It's incredible. And the sun hits different here. I just feel like you get more of a glow. It just hits different. We made it to Georgetown and we just parked the vehicle. We're gonna go have some coffee and probably have some lunch. Yep. And it already looks so cute and quaint. And I'm gonna insert a photo of a picture of a house I took and it literally reminded me of Christmas. Like, if that was going to be a house of Christmas packaging, that's what it would be. Did you notice it? It was like the most Christmassy house I've ever seen. Where? Down the floor. These are the shoes I traveled with. They're super comfortable to be walking around in, but I love your shoes. I actually want these. These are the New Balance and the Amy Leon Dual, right? Yep. I, I want them. And you have it in the best colorway. The Amy's 550, and then you can get them without the Amy yeah, Leon Yeah, just the regular New Balance 550s. Just the regular 550s, and that's like, cheaper way cheaper way cheaper but these are coming out soon actually so they're coming for out any again. of your followers that want to get them just go to the website and subscribe to the page Amy Leon door it'll pop up mm -hmm. and it'll let you know when to buy it what's up well I've got my Starbucks and a sandwich and we're heading to the car because we are driving back to New York, back to Manhattan, and I've got my jet fuel, so let's go. Let's get out of here. Thank you so much for watching, and definitely let me know in the comments below if you've visited DC or if you want to visit DC I'll be more than happy to give you recommendations because we're only here for two days so I know that we didn't get to see a lot of the things but we did see most so if you do want to see that definitely comment below and yeah thanks for watching bye